holiday um, Memorial Island Advisory Committee meeting, and uh, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Uh, I think everybody here did. We went out to the turkey trot on the on the Barrier Island on a chilly morn, and now we're getting ready for uh, Christmas. But uh, we've got business to attend to, so with that, let's uh, uh, start with the Pledge of Allegiance. And Barb, would you sure. lead, please? <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, everybody had the opportunity to uh, look at the uh, minutes for the uh, 6th of November. So are there any um, recommendations for uh, changes to the 6th November um, meeting? We had Mr. Diaz come and Mr. Zicker talking about the ceremony. It seems like, oh my gosh. And then Mr. Ossenfort came from IPTV and uh, and all. So, Mr. Chairman, I move that be approved. Okay. Is a second. A recommendation and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So they will be filed for record. Next, um, this is the first um, advisory committee meeting where I've had the chance to do, uh, to allow for the election of officers. And because I have uh, Amelie next to me, she's going to make sure that this is, uh, I don't mess it up. So, uh, Rita, uh, how do we go about uh, this? Uh, you can open it up for any nominations. Okay. So I open yeah. up. So I'd like to. I think that we've had great leadership here under Tony Young, and I, and who who could inspire us more than Amelie Loy to continue to do good? I'd like to uh, nominate or recommend that we just keep our chair and vice chair that we've had for the past year and I'll second continue there. on. Absolutely, I would be delighted if Amelie would uh, assist me because on the 50th anniversary of Memorial Island. If she is here by my side, I think everybody will be very, very pleased. So, any further? Okay. I'll, I'll just make one comment, and that is that we have been very fortunate this last year to have Mr. Young as our chairman. Mm -hmm. the, the activities of this group have been unexcelled in the past. Your mic is not on. Anyway, Tony has been a wonderful leader, and I think we all recognize that his, um, his heart, he's dedicated. So I will certainly be happy to um, assist you, and particularly this year with the 50th anniversary coming. So, okay. So we need to have a vote. Yes? No? Um, just a... Pass the motion. That's All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Okay. okay. Well, thank you so much. Um, I look forward to 2014 and uh, continuing to work with Jim's men in the city to uh, keep the island and the, and the committee uh, as it should be. So, very good. Okay. Audience participation <clears throat> being December, uh, we've cleared our major hurdles in, for Veterans Day. There's uh, none that I see, and so we'll move immediately to new business. And the new business we have at hand is the report for 2014. Um, 2013, excuse me, I'm getting ahead. Gotcha. And uh, what, I've, what I've done is also provided to each of you um, a handout called the Cenotaph Chronicle. Okay, and um, basically... What that is is a list of all of the uh, revisions for the cenotaphs um, that have been made over 2013. Uh, there were a total of 15 bronze plaques that were provided and um, five new granite stones. Um, and as you can see, in February we had the bulk of the uh, updates for the um, cenotaphs. 
And then in March, uh, we included um, the um, names of Morrison, Ty, uh, Morris Tyson and, and um, Woodward, Aaron Hall. You can see they're all listed as new. And finally, in May, we had the final two updates, which was Tharp and then Wiggins Week, because Wiggins had some uh, had to get some revisions there. So that's what that chronicle is. And then the next handout that says Cenotaph Square basically is just a list of the of the highlighted names and when they were revised for the Cenotaph. So that's for, for record there. Okay. For the uh, annual report, um, we met every month last year except for May. And I think we uh, kept busy for sure for all 12 months. Um, the second bullet there, uh, Rip departed from um, Colonel Wheeler, departed in January. Uh, we recognized him in February. And then Ken was approved by the city council in October and joined us in November. So we are uh, manned at 100%. Um, we've had our three... Three, one, two, Veterans Day, Memorial Day, and then two additional Vietnam uh, vigil and the, the Korean War's anniversary ceremonies on the island. In addition, um, we had two memorials, I believe, that I'm aware of off the top of my head. Rick Moore, and I believe there was one in addition to that. Um, and then um, we have the annual... Um, Ceremony for the victims, um, victims' right organization. On the fourth bullet, um, <clears throat> just so a type a minor change. There were 15 markers that were updated, and five new ones added, and those are listed there. Under public works, um, Don and um, um, Marty, not Marty, Monty. Uh, have the mangrove uh, trimming plan in hand, I believe. Uh, we've had two additional uh, benches uh, uh, donated, one from the Korean War Association, the second by um, Mr. Malloy. And then Don swapped one of the benches around. That was over by the DOD uh, memorial. Um, additional work done for the Chamber of Commerce there and, and Vero Home and Life. Um, as far as the service markers, it's an ongoing project that we have. Uh, the contractor did clean and seal the walkways. Um, we will um, provide the Memorial Day Foundation uh, additional information on the island that has to be completed. And then you see the work that has been done on the trifolds. We'll talk more about that as, later in the meeting. Um, the Korean War Memorial um, done was provided plants by the Veterans Association. The Korean War Veterans. Yeah. By the Korean War Veterans. Um, Rob uh, continued to do an awesome job. Nothing more can be said I mean, there. I think it's been outstanding. Um, we have uh, one adjustment, and that is for overtime if uh, there's a service required other than the main uh, ceremonies. Um, Don, thank you for the updated map index. That's awesome. Uh, that's been posted. Uh, uh, 50th anniversary celebration. I know the Veterans Council is uh, continuing to um, uh, prepare for that. The One of the schools that has a um, a Fife and Drum Corps, Corps um, I should be able to tell you off the top of my head, has volunteered uh, to perform in May. Um, I'm looking off the, the um, it's out west of town, the school out west of town. Storm Charter? Storm Charter High School? No, it's a private one, I believe, isn't it? Anyway, I'll get the name next time, but we do have um, um, plans Masters underway for that. Master's Academy. Master's Academy. There you go. Master's Academy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and um, 
Rick Moore ceremony, um, the end of November there was uh, a moving ceremony, and I think uh, went very well. Um, and then, Jim, thank you for your staff, your support. I appreciate it. It was a good year. Um, so, Barb, um, any additions that you see? John? Oh, I'm not sure. I just question more, but is public works is that uh, possessive or plural? I mean, should that be public works with a? It is a I think it's plural, right? Not works. possessive. Yeah, it's not works. possessive. So yeah, that'd be the typo on the second page. Actually, on all public locations, yes, on that that didn't get changed yet. Okay, all right. Just a, anyway, not a big deal, but just okay. The only other note I had. Veteran Services Officer. No, sir, ma'am. No. Did you say there? Fifteen. It should be fifteen. Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. Okay. No. And no, it's very well done. Okay. That goes to the city council. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Fine. All right. All right. Curtis and Ken, any any notes? No. Yeah, no. looks good. Covered. Okay. All right. Very good. Um. The, oh shoot. I said everything, and the one last thing was I wanted to say thanks to Jim Kirkpatrick. Because not only did we get the agenda, the uh, legend updated in the map that's there on the entrance, but the uh, cenotaph map with all of the markers has been updated. So that's been um, uh, included as well. So that's one more accomplishment. Okay. Okay. So um, that's the annual budget for new business. Um, Old business, um, Don, could you speak in regards to the marker uh, restoration? Good morning, Don Dexter, Public Works. Um, yeah, we're planning on doing that probably right after the first of the year. We'll attempt to take one of the markers off. But with the, the holidays coming up now, the, the guys are pretty well taxed trying to keep things. Uh, they, 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 had, they had some other repairs to make, so but we'll tackle this first of the year. Okay. okay. Um, any um, plans on underway, or will that be after the New Year's as well for moving the sundial? That'll probably be after the first of the year, but we've already got the location for it, and um, we'll do that more than likely at the same time that they're out there. It'll be the same crew. Okay. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the 50th anniversary, um, I spoke quickly about that with Masters Academy offering the fife and drum. Uh, we'll continue to look at um, available resources to assist with that. But um, if we can put together a parade and, and get a active duty contingent to assist with that, I think that would be very effective. Um, from maybe from the gazebos over to the island with the with the men that are physically fit. So, okay. On the fiftieth anniversary, we're going to do it on Memorial Day. It will be done on Memorial Day. Yes, not two separate days. No, no. What, what is that date going to be? Is that it's a? Uh, I don't. I don't. I guess know. it's the thirtieth ish or or thirtieth. Um, oh, sure. Who's got a calendar? Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, I guess the thirteenth. I can Hang look on. it up. I guess, but it, it, and I guess that would be on. Uh, I can tell you, January, six. February, what? May twenty sixth. I got twenty sixth. Twenty sixth. Yes. And as we discussed before, it's kind of a, about, uh, you know, Memorial Day, of course, is a solemn ceremony uh, uh, honoring those that died in the service of our country. And then we kind of have on the same day, on the same occasion, a celebration of the 50th anniversary of Memorial Island. So it's... Uh, right. Guess, It'll um, be a bittersweet. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. Um, any other notes in regards to the anniversary? Um, and we do, we will um, highlight the contributions of the people that really mm -hmm. uh, provided for the island. So. Yeah. You know, I think the, uh, the, the, all of us like seeing the, the battle cross mm -hmm. uh, on Memorial Island for last Memorial Day. Uh, and I think that it's an appropriate, especially for Memorial Day, but if we... Uh, I guess it was the sheriff's rifle and your boots and your helmet, or <laughs> it was, uh, who all put together that. And, it, and it's a little trick to, uh, to, but I think that's, uh, you know, as far as the sights and sounds and symbols of those days, I think that's uh, the battle cross 
uh, the, the rifle and the boots and the helmet is appropriate for, for that day. Again, if we can get that together, I think that was... Aren't we looking for a bayonet for that purpose in specific? I think I got a bayonet. We've got, we have okay. one. Uh, if, 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 the, if the provider is willing to Oh, yeah, I'm glad to. In again. fact, I've got it for that purpose. And, <laughs> and uh, we can stab it in the ground or do mm-hmm. whatever. Don't have to worry about the finish. It's there for that uh, that purpose. And... Actually, I would donate it to whoever's rifle it is. I don't have a rifle to provide, so uh-huh. he could just have it if if okay. if he's going to donate wow. the rifle to the. Is it part of the sheriff's department? Yeah, rifle? I, be, I, I believe they right. I don't think it's a. Uh, Not one we'll person. Have to, we'll, so. have to, we'll have to confirm what mm-hmm. the status is of the weapon, whether it's a active weapon or whether it's a replica, and uh, maybe there's an opportunity where we can look for a replica mm-hmm. so that we wouldn't have to be concerned with that. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a good idea. Be nice, like he said, to have that every Memorial Day. Oh, yeah. No, it's 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 um, a part of our culture. I think it's iconic. I can get one. I'm not sure about carrying a weapon onto the island and such, so it probably would be better that the, one of the law enforcement people bring it. But uh, Yeah, uh, we'll have to anyway, talk we'll, to the... Not a big deal, but I think it was a nice addition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just pull the bolt. Oh, yeah. No, but if you've got a replica, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not sure from the law enforcement perspective. We'll have to t- double check. And I don't believe it would be an issue. But Well, the color guards have rifles, and, and they're all. Right. So, uh, okay. But anyway, yeah, not a big deal. But or I think it is a big deal. It's a nice addition to the uh, to the island, and on, yep. especially on Memorial Day. Okay. All right. Um, ma'am, anything? No. Mm-mm. Okay. Um the uh, Veterans Day uh, ceremony uh, recap. I every ceremony, um, I've I've been moved, um, you know, um, because I think most everybody here realizes you you plan for about eighty percent, and then after the eighty percent factor, then it becomes a fluid <laughs> a fluid situation. Um, and uh, with a rain shower. Uh, 20 minutes prior to execution for the for the ceremony, I think some people said, uh, "I'd rather stay dry." But we still had a a, a very good turnout. Um, in addition, um, the uh, group of young ladies that were on the bridge uh, passing out thank you cards. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you. It was it touched a lot of veterans who uh, you know really appreciated appreciated that. Um, so I thought that was a huge success. Um, the band, as always, uh, was top notch, um, and I just want to say thank you. But they they are flexible as well. Um, the uh, the vocalist um, was uh, on top of it. You know, he did a, a commendable job. I don't know if you all noticed, but we had some people just walking the island that weren't in the crowd uh, paying attention. And literally, they stopped in their steps, turned around, and and and, 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 and paid their attention. And um, then also, I just want to uh, make note of another awesome achievement, and that was uh, uh, Austin Fort's uh, IPTV, uh, because um, for the first time, that was streamed live, and... Um, my daughter was in, in Maryland with my granddaughter on her lap watching it, and she was eight years old when I came back from um, the first Gulf War uh, when, it, when they were singing Proud to be an American. So she was teaching my 18-month-old daughter how to sing Proud to be an American with a vocalist on the island for uh, Veterans Day. So, um, you know, uh, that's, that's the vision of Alex McWilliam to have the uh, the tribute for those that have sacrificed for our country. And I think it's, you know, it's, it's being achieved. So, um, the only uh, follow up as far as to do better uh, (laughs) when we mark the parking spaces, those who are in in cardboard and with the 20 minute shower (laughs) or a 10 minute shower, 20 minutes before some of those got washed away. But that's, Mm -hmm. that's really, really minor. Um, and then I want to say thank you to chief Curry. Uh, his assistance was uh, crucial to that. Um, Nanette, um, Bob, uh, you know, all of the departments. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. All right. Um, 
Rick Moore, um, for those of you, we mentioned Rick um, last uh, month. Uh, his ceremony was held on the island. We did have a, um, a good turnout, I believe, uh, with veterans from the Vietnam era. Uh, they shared their experiences uh, with um, somebody that really reflects growing up in Vero Beach, uh, um, accepting the responsibility to serve his nation and then coming home uh, having been injured in combat having been uh, a, a professional soldier or marine excuse me and um, he came back and contributed to the community Toys for Tots the, uh, the veterans uh, um, Vietnam veterans so um, I just want to say again thank you yeah, Rick probably got thousands of toys for kids in the local community and Toys for Tots. It was like a full-time job in November and December when he was uh, Commandant of the Marine Corps League, the local detachment of the Marine Corps League. It's, it's um, just like Memorial Day and Veterans Day. Those memorials are just one more reason why we have the island set aside. And um, I just encourage those to t out there that's looking to take advantage of that opportunity. It's it's your island. It's for sure. sure could I mention a, yeah. one little thing about um, Veterans Day or Memorial Day? Uh, one thing our local recruiters always help us, and it's great to have them there. To and usually they move the wreath, and that and I tell them over the years I've gone over to. Re to Shanghai them or get them to volunteer and uh, <laughs> um, volunteer good and, idea. and almost uh, I say you know you're going to be on the paper they're going to take a photograph of you for sure and they and they almost always do which is good for them and their family um, and um, I don't really it's not a it's a little thing and I don't we don't really get a chance to talk except for here but um, mm -hmm. if if we could ask them to move the wreath instead of picking the wreath up from the front and walking where the photograph is the behind the wreath they should pick it up from the back and walk with it. So a better photo for their grandchildren to see one day in the future. Uh, and also uh, on our, uh, you know, in our local newspaper and things. So if he moves the wreath from behind it, uh, I think it'd be a better photo op. I agree. But uh, I believe it's Staff Sergeant Mumaw. You did a heck of a good job. You did job. a great job, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and they always do, and, the, and yeah. it's a good addition I mean, to have it, those guys. We are batting a thousand because I believe it was Memorial or Veterans Day a, a year ago when um, the the earlier uh, Sergeant um, Harrison, I believe, had been in town for a month, and mm -hmm. I think that's 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 the uh, the uh, trial by fire for the new recruiting <laughs> NCOs. <laughs> you know, welcome to Vero Beach in Indian River County. You're on duty for Memorial Day and Veterans Day, and uh, <laughs> we can we we can always. Uh, make adjustments. And uh, I was just talking to a Marine gunnery sergeant now who's nearing retirement. That <clears> when he was just just promoted to E5 sergeant, he was here as a recruiter, and and of course he was in the paper and still has that. He's married a, a Marine who is going to become an officer pretty soon. So I guess his wife is going to outrank him. But mm -hmm. but anyway, one of their fond memories is serving, uh, uh, helping us on Memorial Island, and of course having those photos for their album. Oh, w without a doubt, uh, the. Uh, you, it's 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 a highlight to be able to come home and uh, go on Memorial Island and recognize that um, you're only a small minnow in a big sea, and, and if if that big group you can be a part of mm -hmm. that accomplishes something that's uh, of significance, um, it, it expands your life, and I think these men all recognize that, um, and. Another aspect, and, and we could continue to talk on and on, but the fact that we had about 20 veterans up on the uh, reviewing stand for the, uh, for the um, passing and review and, and the ceremony um, touched a lot of people's hearts. Um, um, Barb, I think <laughs> uh, the fact that you had family uh, and, and the fact that we had uh, that number up there was... was and. Um, the fact that we had the lift, the fact that we had people contributing, it was incredible. Uh, Marty's idea of having a happy birthday sung to that young man, that was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Okay. All right. Um, moving on. The um, chairman's matters, I need to bring up one a point that I need to get <clears throat> your uh, input on. 
when I went to the um, Veterans Council, they offered to support us with the trifolds. I think they've done a wonderful job. Um, but I need assistance because the uh, Veterans Council has paid for the trifolds, but uh, when I began, I was thinking one and expanded to three, so um, I have a commitment to pay $500 for the other two uh, to the Veterans uh, uh, Council uh, for their assistance um, in preparing the designs and for printing them. So um, if there's you any need a motion. Yes, I do. So. I would like to make a motion that we go ahead and contribute that $500 okay. um, to the Veterans Council. Okay. Certainly second it. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. Thank you. Um, as we look at these, and, and uh, Jim and Don and, and Rob, I will provide you copies for the city uh, so you have those for the rec department and for, for the members of the council and those that are visitors. So I think it speaks well of, well of Indian River County and Vera. Okay. I certainly am glad for the day that you went to talk to the Chamber of Commerce about the fact that this this um, committee was not being recognized as um, as a point of interest in in Vero Beach and in River County because I think this this is one of the products that came out of that and um, we have a lot of people who are interested they want to know more about the island. And here we've got three um, trifolds, and they're full of information. So I, I, I thank you for doing that. So well, there's there's a young lady by the name of Bernadette Rednauer who is the wife of the young soldier that was up on the reviewing stand mm -hmm. uh, for Veterans Day. Um, he was injured in in combat, and the nice thing about being here is uh, you just ask help <laughs> and mm -hmm. and you know uh, because if I it, it, it takes many many minds yes, and creativity yes, and things that I can't do uh, for other people to to contribute and on behalf of you know the advisory committee I would say thank you to Bernadette and the uh, Veterans Council for helping us with the trifolds is this um, Charlie Cox? Yes. Uh, 103 year old veteran? That's yes. great that he's on there too. Yeah. I thought I recognized him. If, if you look at the if you look at the trifolds, um, the one that um, that John is re referring to is this one here, and on the back is is a map of uh, Memorial Island. And one of my uh, other favorite photographs is of a young mom and her daughter there at one of the ceremonies, and it's it's very touching. I. I, I can go through each one. The, um, the list of dates on the other trifold is, is nice to have for patriotic days, and it speaks about Alex McWilliam and has a, a Marine there photographed at one of the Vietnam vigils as well as the Cenotaph Square um, and then the, uh, the um, Combat Cross. And finally, this is Joel's favorite with the colors on the front. And um, yeah, that's beautiful. Has um, the Vietnam Memorial and the, and the uh, committee listed there. So again, thank you very much, Tony. I think we also should thank the sheriff's office for getting these printed. Also, Amen. Yeah, I would I would be I would be grossly uh, negligent if I didn't do that. There's a young lady at the sheriff's uh, um, uh, department who. When I went to speak with her about the trifolds, she said, sir, if there's one thing that I have put priority on, it's for the veterans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and again, she said, you know, one of the letterings was a little bit um, opaque, and, and I made a, a slight improvement. I, think, I hope that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. We get copies of... Uh, I have some in the box right here. Okay. All right, thank okay. you. We, they... Um, uh, Veterans Council provided uh, 200 of each, and so we have the uh, files so we can go back and uh, request more. So that's a good beginning. 
Um, the second matter under Chairman's Matters was is Billy and Graves. I just want to educate everybody who's not familiar with Billy, Billy and Graves. Um, the Genealogy Society um, is becoming more digitally um, um, proficient, and there is a website out in the um, community called Billy and Graves, and it records the markers at uh, cemeteries, um, and um, and uh, if you go there, uh, you can type in Indian River County, and it'll come up and reflect all of the uh, memorial sites, the uh, Crestlawn Cemetery, Sebastian Cemetery. Um, the uh, markers now have begun to be entered for Memorial Island, so on Billion Graves, you can go there and uh, type in Indian River County, and it'll come up Memorial Island and go to the island, and it has the four exterior markers there for uh, the memorials and the information. So literally, people now in Seattle, Washington, can come up and say, I think maybe I have an uncle that, by the name of Popple, and, and uh, Felix Popple will come up and have uh, some of the information that has gone in, into the research, which is um, another step to provide recognition for those veterans. It's so, um, okay. Questions? It's no cost. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one more project that's being done and, for the other. Just for clarification mm -hmm. as to exactly what you were saying, it's interesting. It's billion. Billion, great. B-I-L-L-I-O-N, and then capital G, billion graves, G-R-A-V-E-S, dot com. Right. Okay. Right. And this is this is brand new um, to Indian River County. I mean, and if you um, uh, go on the web uh, and, and, and Google billion graves dot um, com, it'll come up, and then you can go there, and you can... Uh, kind of scratch your head and say, well, maybe I've got a grandfather in Toledo, and then go to Toledo, and if they've begun what we're doing here in Indian River County, the cemetery will come up, and you'll be able to, to locate that. Um, I found my grandfather's uh, marker in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. So, Okay. Gracious. Members, matters? Any Anything for the August group? Um, Y'all? Yeah, I just want to say thanks to both you and Emily for doing a good job for the past year. I mean, without you two, uh, things uh, obviously would have got done, but not done as properly or as correctly as they should have. So I'll just throw my two cents worth in there and say thanks to both of you. Well, I appreciate Thank that. Um, it, it, uh, I just hope I can um, fulfill the uh, expectations of a great lady who uh, – uh, came to me and said, hey, Tony, would you like to be on the council and put your name in? Helen, thank you. So, okay. she, was, she was right, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, anything? Not a thing. You've covered it all. Okay, so this concludes the advisory committee. Thank you.